And Mike Budenholzer rewarded his team with a day off in Orlando. They won it 124-87. So a lopsided victory for the Bucks coming in, a lopsided loss for the Timberwolves coming in. One of the final games before Edwards really went on the run that he has been on. And we talked a little bit about Bobby Portis and the fact that he comes into the game four yeah. straight double-double. It's the longest streak in the NBA by a rookie since Chris Paul had 31 in a row during his rookie season. Portis rattles out. Timberwolves 0 for 6 from the field to start this game. Milwaukee was 19 of 40 from three-point range in their win. Milwaukee was 19 of 40 from three-point range in their win over Orlando on Sunday. Portis on the attack. No, wow, Reed comes down with the rebound. Tremendous block that time by Jaden McDaniels. How about the hustle there by D'Angelo Russell? Off the bench, came over and helped Nas Reed get up on the baseline. Timberwolves, though, unable to get a bucket. Up for this Bucks team, but Giannis is, uh, I, don't, I hope they don't discriminate against Giannis for having one, two MVPs in a row, because to me, he's very deserving again this year. Uh, Jeff Teague was an all-star in, in Atlanta and was an excellent player. Jeff Teague, you, we never questioned the talent here, Jim, no. and he was a fantastic. We'd have great conversations about shoes and music and, and restaurants, and he's just a very a well-rounded individual, Bobby Portis. We'd have great conversations about shoes and music and, and restaurants, and he's just a very well-rounded individual, Bobby Portis. Portis free in the corner, and the Timberwolves get the mm. rebound. They can hold for the final shot. Yeah. I get it. It's like you get it. Like you switch just because it's, it's, it's less complicated. You're not going to get as twisted up, but... You know, if you're willing to give up your matchups and ever gave me was that when you make the pass is to present the seams to the shooter. You know, you make that extra pass and when, you, when you're in beautiful reversal pass, you throw it to the seams, you throw them open. Russell has it stripped away by Portis. Edwards. Yeah, McDaniels, just one of the youthful guys on this team. One of the youngest teams in the NBA. I know as of February, they had the youngest active roster. He's finished by Brook. Plays hard, and he's hard to play against. He's like, I, I really like what he does out there for the Milwaukee Bucks. He's got long arms. It's, oh, my goodness, that was going to be awesome. It's almost lob dunk time for Jared Vanderbilt, but couldn't get it to go. Portis back to Forbes. Nice cut by Bobby Portis. What a block by Ed Davis. He sent Bobby Portis packing there. You inspired the Lynx with that message, I know, while you were an assistant coach. It's, it's so important as a player to, to really soak all this up. You inspired the Lynx with that message, I know, while you were an assistant coach. It's it's so important as a player to, to really soak all this up. I was really worried about Anthony Edwards being what Minnesota needed him to be at the beginning of the season, and I think I'm I, my fears have been uh, relaxed as Jared Vanderbilt can't get that to go. Portis able to drill the three. Bobby Buckets. I mean, Ant's been out there every game. And there's they're a lot to be said for that. And he's gotten better along the way. Portis throws it out. Connaughton, he has just absolutely feasted this afternoon. The Bucks have a professional way of going about their business, don't they? They come in and they're prepared. And everybody kind of plays their little role and they do what they do. Vanderbilt for Noel. They're going to sweep the season series, barring an absolutely historic comeback that I'm, I'm not thinking is likely to happen. The Bucks are going to sweep the season series against the Timberwolves. They're going to sweep the season series, 
barring an absolutely historic comeback that I'm, I'm not thinking is likely to happen. The Bucks are going to sweep the season series against the Timberwolves.